This is Ms. Novikowski for My Home to Yours, and this week's studio project was cardboard building tiles. So to make this project, you need a cardboard box that you can cut up. Either thicker cardboard or thinner cardboard um, is fine. And you'll need scissors of some sort, and possibly a ruler, and a pen or pencil or marker of some sort. All right. So the project we're gonna to make today is cardboard building tiles, and I've got them in different shapes here. A long rectangle, a square, a triangle, and they can fit together in different ways. We've got these little notches on and you can slide the little notches in and build with them. So you can build a tower or a bridge or an animal or a robot, whatever you like, or you can just use the pieces to make some sort of cardboard sculpture. So here's a piece of cardboard that I had in a rectangle from one of the flaps. And just to go over the measuring, you can estimate and cut where you like, or if you want to use a ruler to be more exact, you measure the length of one of the sides. So this one is 14 centimeters. And so I've marked the halfway point here, which would be seven centimeters. And then I think about on this long side, I want two slits, so then I'm going to measure from seven centimeters, line that up, and I want them equidistant from that center point. So I'm going to do three centimeters on this side and three on that side. So I count eight, nine, ten, make a little mark. Six, five, four, make a little mark. And then I cut a little slit with my scissors. And then to make the triangular slot there, what I do is I take my scissors and I go up. I don't want to use parallel cuts because I want them to intersect and make a long, narrow triangle. And then I just take out that little piece of cardboard and there I have a little slot. So again, up one side and then angle it so that they will intersect to make a long, narrow triangle. And there I have two slots. And again, on the shorter side of the rectangle, I just measured halfway and did the exact same thing. And now I have a cardboard building tile that I can use in different ways. And then these just fit together. I match the slots together. And if you're building something and you want a, a slot in a certain place, then you can just go back and cut it um, to create whatever you want to create. But there you go. If you want to think a little bit more carefully about the measurement there for that angle that you're creating when you create that slot. Um, you don't want it too narrow or the cardboard will buckle or bend when you try and put them together. And you don't want it too wide or they won't stick. So about 10 to 20 degrees um, is about good. And this is a, called a protractor. And to measure that angle, I use that little crosshatch point to measure the point of the triangle, that vertex. And then I line this up along the straight edge there along one of the lines or one of the edges. And then I use my finger and I go along where this line is up here. And so this angle is just over 10 degrees. Okay, So that's about the size of the angle that you want for your notches. So one way to make triangular cardboard tiles is to take a rectangle or square and then use a straight edge or your ruler and go from this corner to this corner. So a diagonal cut and we're going to decompose the rectangle into half. And so it's half across the diagonal so they'll be exactly the same size and I'm going to draw a line here. And I can use my scissors to cut along that line to decompose this rectangle into two triangles. So cutting it in half, and there's my two triangles. So I think I'll add some color to these with some paint or crayons. Thank you. 
I've added color to some, but I've left about half of them just neutral color, the, the color of the cardboard. And here's a circle. I used a, a drinking glass to trace around on the cardboard and then cut it out so I have a circle. You can use your imagination to make whatever you want with the cardboard building tiles. Here's just an example of a very tall legged bird that I made, maybe a great blue heron or a flamingo using some different shapes. And here's the beak. 